and I'm gonna look like a lizard, I'm gonna be peeling like a lizard. The reason I, honestly, the reason I did not start this back in my 20s is because um, vanity reasons. This, it is so good. I hate all my other brow laxes now. Yay! He thinks it's a stuffed animal, it's so cute. It's not supposed to be black. I still don't know what is wrong with it. I obviously did not finish it. It is not being finished. You guys are gonna think I'm crazy and be like, Brittany, why, why? Because I complain so much about these. How do I normally film? I apologize this ankle is awful but I finished with my dermatologist appointment I have my appointment set up for November 30th so we can start that's the day we can actually start Accutane so far what they've done is I had to sign some waivers which I knew I was gonna have to because of you know um, complications with you can't get pregnant during it and I did my first P test for uh, they do 30 days prior to starting a uh, birth, um, not a birth test, a pregnancy test. So I obviously had a negative test, which you need. So that's why my November 30th appointment, once I get a negative test at that one, that's when I start the pills. And it's seven months long. Um, with Accutane, you have to have two forms of birth control, which right now I only have one form. So I'm gonna have to add in a second form. And um, yeah, Essentially what's gonna happen is I'm gonna be like super 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 dry dry skin I'm gonna look like a lizard I'm gonna be peeling like a lizard the reason I honestly the reason I did not start this back in my 20s is because um, vanity reasons I was dating and I dated for uh, Probably more years in my 20s than I didn't date in my 20s and um, I didn't want to look like a lizard during that time um, and now that I have a husband I can look like a lizard now so that is going to be a journey and the lips dry out is what I'm gonna have the most difficult time with but I am a chapstick addict so I'm hoping that because I use chapstick already all the time that it will be okay so <laughs> we'll see um, I just stopped at Target I am grateful and also upset that I don't live by a Target so I stopped by one on my way home because it's an hour drive to my dermatologist um, and I think I explained before I don't go to another dermatologist I didn't get a new one because I've been through a lot with this current dermatologist where I don't want to have to start over with someone and explain all the things that we've done and just my history in general so um that's why we're just traveling for it <laughs> and anyways I'm at Target right now I just got Starbucks this is the it's been five different, five or six times I've tried to get Starbucks and I couldn't. Um, when we were in Gatlinburg, we went to Starbucks and they were out of chai. So um, it's weird. It's so weird. My, where I live, the Starbucks sucks. It's awful. No one ever is working. So they're always closing down like at random times during the day. Um, and for days on end, they'll be closed down. And um, I didn't expect that in Gatlinburg, but whatever they run out of chai it's fine <laughs> they had chai today where I'm at right now which is in Dayton so well what I was saying with that is I'm upset I don't live by a Target because I love Targets but I am not because I went in there to get Starbucks and to use my gift cards because I'm like oh free trip to Starbucks I have merchandise credit gift cards and I had to exchange some dipes um no I spent a hundred and fifteen dollars in there and like it was not for me it was all for Asher basically so hmm, well I did get some new bathroom rugs so that technically is for me but like not it wasn't like clothing right actually that's a lie I got benefit brow wax that's why I got their fluff up brow wax I'll do a whole haul um, when I get home speaking of getting home let's get home just got home put my hair up because I cannot deal with having my hair down especially with the baby um quick target haul and i need to get into work mode because i am down three days for my 15 hours in so that means i need to do at least four hours a day from now until sunday which is 
not easy when you have a toddler. So the first thing I got is this Cat and Jack Han boots in a size six. It is the color tan. These are going to be whoops, nice for winter time. Randall is nodding in approval because he has not seen any of this. And they were 20% off, so I picked those up. I mentioned that um, there was really bad footage of what's in the car. I'm still gonna upload it, but I mentioned that I had a pair of diaper swaddlers that were too small that I exchanged. So I had a bunch of gift cards. I had gift cards from last year too because we don't live by a target like i said i just don't go enough um to actually use them or that i forget about them so i used all my gift cards today which is nice um it was still a lot of money so um yeah we got the boots i think now he has boots a pair two pairs of no one pair of like athletic sneakers one pair of like casual sneakers and a pair of sandals so that will last him until he grows out of them i guess which Lord knows when that will be. I also picked up, I originally had a Christmas hand towel, but then I went through and I saw this figment. I have not heard of this. It was an end cap. Um, these feel so good and they were the exact same price as a really cheap feeling Christmas towel. So I'm like, you know what? I don't need a holiday towel. I'm in that like minimalist type era still where I don't want a lot of stuff. But I figured with the Christmas one, because it wasn't necessarily Christmas, it was little lights. It would have lasted, what, like four or five months. Um, now that I can, I can get into and I can store that. But I changed my mind and I got this one and this one. They were $3 each. They are so thick and nice feeling. Um, just trust me, check these out if you haven't. They came in a bunch of different neutral colors. And I figured I can use them in the bathroom too if I want. <laughs> And then I got, okay, so 20% off for the shoes included slippers. I <laughs> just wanted, I wanted, he's always wearing my slippers. Um, and obviously I'm a size 10 women's, that's not his size. So I picked him up a size small um, slippers for toddlers. And they're just little lions and they're adorable. And I think he's going to really like them uh, because they look like stuffed animals. So that was $15 with 20% off. And then into, wait, where? Oh, <laughs> like this was like the, one of the most expensive thing from the haul. Um, my Benefit Fluff Up Brow Wax. Let me tell you, I didn't think that there was such thing as um, a superior brow product until I finally got my hands on Ipsy Scent A in one of the glam bags, a trial size of this. It is so good. I hate all my other brow waxes now. Fenty, Rihanna's like Fenty brow wax is good, but it doesn't have the bristles, so it's really hard to use it. Um, this is amazing. I don't think I'll ever want to use another brow wax again. So again, it's a fluff up brow wax. I'm telling you now, it is so good. That was for me, so that was my big thing. I've been wanting new bathroom rugs because ours just don't match. Our wall, we have a wallpaper on like one of the walls. It's black and then it has other colors in it. Um, and our rugs are, it's like navy and white. So I picked up this really pretty orange color because in our wallpaper it has um, this exact color of orange in it, like just little specks of it in the flower. So I thought this would be really good contrast. And our vanity is this color. So I could have gotten this in the rug, but I figured if the rug, it just adds more, like pops a color. And like our house is pretty white. <laughs> so I think just having small things here and there throughout the house will kind of spice it up some. Um, but I did get the hand towel in green because I didn't want it to be too matchy-matchy. I thought this would be a nice contrast with it. So I have this for the bath, like, because it's a long rug. Um, it's folded in half right now. I will show you like what I place it on. And then I got the uh, bath, the uh, toilet, um, small. I got, they had it in this like fluffy material, but I got this one instead because I wanted that different texture to it. And I don't need a fluffy, like water absorbing <laughs> mat next to the toilet. Like unless it's absorbing pee, I hope it's not. Uh, this is going to be perfect for it. And then I also just picked up two matching health. 
because our towels are really old so I figured we can get rid of two of them and add these into the mix and that would look adorable so I think that no that's almost everything the very last thing from the dollar section I picked up this to put in the bathroom and kind of tie everything together um, on our vanity um, and it's just really cute it is fall I think I'm gonna still keep it up all year long even though it has leaves on it um it was five dollars so it was a five dollar in the dollar spot you know might as well the dollar tree now is no longer a dollar it's a dollar 25 up to five dollars so and that is everything <laughs> except for milk I did get some whole milk it is already in the fridge oh and I did get Pampers, Swaddler size 5 in daytime and nighttime because they were doing a buy two get a $15 gift card. So I did those in my first transaction, got the $15 gift card, and then put the other gift cards and that additional one um, towards this. So that was a lot. And now I need to go to work. Wow. I need to get some stuff done for um, a mark. I'm, I'm not even going to talk about it. Um, love you. Goodbye. <laughs> Welcome back. It is trick or treat night. It is not necessarily Halloween. I think we're still a few days before that, but I wanted to show you guys Asher's costume because it's literally the cutest thing I have ever seen. I got an email. No, how did I find it? I think I was looking on Poshmark and I saw Pottery Barn had costumes and I found a deer costume I wanted so bad, but I couldn't find it in a size that wasn't like outrageously expensive. For some reason, people resell the Pottery Barn costumes um, way more than what Pottery Barn sells them at. So then I just obviously went to Pottery Barn's website and found, they didn't have the deer costume because that one's out of like discontinued, but they had this alien costume that is so adorable so I made Randall and I matching um off-market <laughs> Nike sweatshirts that um have Buzz Lightyear on them because he's an astronaut around aliens it doesn't make too much sense but I just really liked the <laughs> uh pattern so I just made it the colors like that I bought it as obviously you can change out embroidery colors because you're the one embroidering it um, and I just made it so it matched his costume. So we're, we have matching sweatshirts. And then um, Asher has the alien costume. What are you doing? We still have an hour though. So I don't want to put him in it yet because it is pretty warm. It's 50s out, which will be perfect for the costume. But indoors with the costume, probably not. So I'll show you what it looks like off and then I'll probably just insert some photos on because I don't think I'm going to be vlogging, um, especially because Randall's parents are coming over here and like within the next 20 minutes probably um, and that's just uncomfortable to vlog around them anyways. So I'm going to get off here. I will make sure, hopefully I remember to take photos. I will. I'll, actually, let me show you the costume real quick. Um, one second. He thinks it's a stuffed animal. It's so cute. When when he sees it and puts it on, he gets so excited. So I'm hoping that enthusiasm, enthusiasm, I'm hoping that enthusiasm sticks while we're doing it. You see, this is your costume. It's very soft, very soft. And I love the little hands on it. He's getting upset because I won't give it to him. And the bottom is just elastic. It's honestly, so this is a 12 to 24. It's kind of like right at that tight. It's not going to be uncomfortable, but he definitely like had it been a month later would not fit in it. He's just a big boy. We're almost a year and a half. Okay. Look at that. He loves it. Yeah, your costume. That's your costume. Also, can I just say, I've cleaned this room a million times yeah. already today, and he, yeah. n like, if I clean anything constantly, we'll just grab, that's what toddlers do. They just, uh, like to create messes. What are you doing with it? Hey. Yeah. You're going to be wearing that. Okay, I'll probably not see you guys. Well, I'll see you guys soon probably not looking like this. Also, I have not 
had my hair straight in a very very long time i think we all do this where we just go through phases of hairstyles and mine has been in the phase of a ponytail for a few years but uh i don't know it's it looks darker it does look darker when i have it straight okay randy's parents just pulled in so now i'm gonna go i'll see you tomorrow i should have started this video hours ago days ago a week ago and we are here and we are filming and that's all that matters right getting up and doing it you gotta start somewhere um i've been struggling i will be completely honest with you super struggling this past week to catch up on um just like everything cleaning everything i feel like i'm in that state of just feeling like gross and bleh, because we went to Gatlinburg and that was four days where I didn't get any of my part-time job done, I get anything done. Um, and I feel like I am so behind now. I spent three days doing 15 hours and with a toddler that was really hard doing my part-time job to catch up for the week, I have to do it at least 15 hours a week. Um, and because I had to spend so much time like working and then also spending time with Asher because I'll be honest, I felt like a bad mom during those three days because I was not like present with him. I was just like on everything else, but I'm starting to finally get out of that catch up mode and into normalcy. I'm still catching up on things. Um, so today really all I wanna do is open up. I have over here three huge packages that just came in. Where is it? There. Of um, blanks. So we need to open them. I don't, I do, every time I order blanks, I somehow mess it up. So I am fully looking, not forward to it, um, expecting me to be like, what did I order this for? And then never remembering. <laughs> so we'll see i did order two separate sets of blanks so i we're gonna have more coming in too i ordered a lot of blanks i have two markets coming up though um and then i have my online launch and i just launched today my <laughs> gingerbread cup so that is online already on etsy and on TikTok shop let me get the box i also have a a bag that asher ran off with and I have no idea where it is. So, where is that? Uh, he put it next to my pillow. So. Oh, not a surprise. I remember uh -huh. getting this. I just don't quite remember what it's for. <laughs> I, think I, I think I know. I have, you, you guys are used to me. I go on random tangents. I have been practicing my embroidery again. I forget when I haven't pulled out in a while, and let's be clear, I pulled it out like a week ago, so I've been using it, and it was not frustrating me. Today, I wanted to throw it out the window again. I always like have those moments with it. I was struggling so much on, I'll show you, this design. It's not supposed to be black. I still don't know what is wrong with it. I obviously did not finish it. It is not being finished. I went ahead and took a break, took a breather, came back to it, restarted in another area. And um, that's as far as I got. You can kind of see some green that was popping up. When I do testing on my embroidery, I never use the colors I actually want to use. Except for actually, what I show you, I then, I took another breather, I took a break, and I came back to it, and I was like, you know, I'm doing a different design, see if this works, and look at him, or her, she's, it could be whatever. Um, I have not cut any of my, there's a ton of cutting and trimming that needs done, but it's gonna say, I stopped it in the middle, because I'm like, you know, this is actually working, and I feel good about it, where I'll do it on, I'm um, not a Franken, sweater i'll put it on a real shirt but um it says out here looking like a snack is what it will be and i can ch change all these colors i don't i'm not gonna keep that pink i'm gonna do a gender neutral color on it because i think this would be nice for any gender um and i just don't think that i want i don't like that color with the green and the red and so i have to figure out and i don't know if like i want yellow something tan even tan might be it but yeah 
uh, we love it. Oh, I was open. <laughs> I'm the worst lately with my brain working correctly and staying on task and on topic. Um, back to blanks. Okay, I am so excited for these. These are by Comfort Color. I've not had a Comfort Color sweatshirt, and I saw these on sale on um, where I get my blanks from. And so I ordered them and it's beautiful. What do I want to use this for? I was thinking the cold design, but how pretty would this color be with that? I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. This is so pretty. This color, it's so bright, vibrant and blue. Why are they getting rid of it? Um, okay, so these must have came from a different manufacturer they're just me these two size mediums usually medium is the smallest that i buy um oh i don't know when that sir arrived buddy i need in here hmm. please move thank you oh i need to get my box cutter this color before I love it these okay almost every, I keep saying the word okay and that's bothering me almost everything I buy is always gilded except for obviously that was comfort colors and then I get the t-shirts and comfort colors but this is a gilded it's the like same sweater that I'm wearing I forget what number it is it's like 18,000 or something the heavyweight blend but um I have I think this is charcoal is what they call it. It's so pretty dark gray. I don't, I want to say I started a note to tell me like what I was using what color for. So hopefully that's true. Um, but this would go well with really anything. And I believe that I ordered extras because with that, my embroidery stuff, um, I can obviously make as much as I want of it, but when I get DTF, when I like send off my designs and like get them printed, I have a specific amount. So that's the only reason I would need a specific amount of sweatshirts. For embroidery, I can have as little or as many as I want, which is nice. I'm glad that I have my machine. Um, if I could go back in time, would I have it now? Probably not. I probably not. I probably would have not started with that. Maybe like ended with an even like bigger, faster one. Um, but because I have it, I need to use it. Um, and luckily, I think I told you guys this. I paid it off um, because of the vendor show that I had. So it's now not like a huge. <laughs> and convenience and burden. I did not order the color brown, so I'm confused. They sent me the wrong. Did I, I don't think I ordered any chocolate. Did I know? Maybe? I'll have to go in. I don't remember ordering brown. I also feel like I just ordered these like two days ago. This is not the shipment that I thought it was because I had done one a few days before the one I did a few days ago and this is the like most recent one. I'm so confused. Okay, so I ordered white because I wanted to do some of the little snack one on him as well as the cold print. I think this is just for embroidery in my mind. Um, it was actually, no, this was supposed to be for the uh, design that like drove me so crazy today that I will not be doing. I might try it one more time just for giggles. Um, I ordered new stabilizers, and if you're not into embroidery, that won't make sense to you. But it's just a different like backing to the shirt that maybe might help it because my uh, bobbin thread was showing on like it was fully on top, uh, which should not happen. So and I broke a couple needles too. So yeah, I have white shirts for some reason the white is cheaper than all the other colors like this was like three dollars cheaper than the others so we're okay with that saving and then more chocolate what is 
Okay, here's my order sheet. Did I get chocolate? I guess I did. What did I get it for though is the big question here. We'll never know. I'm not going to do it on camera, but I will be looking these over because I think when I did my last video looking over blanks for my fall collection, I did find one sweatshirt with a hole in it um, and they just refunded me and sent me a new one, told me to keep that one. I ended up doing an embroidery, embroidery design over the little hole and like keeping that um, because with embroidery it didn't show through and it was secure. So. Um, yeah, that's usually what I, if like anything like that ever happens, it becomes a, my own collection. Um, another comfort color t-shirts. These are going to be for some pump covers that I have a design coming. I'm so excited for. And both of the in-person uh, pop-up shops I'm doing, not a pop-up shop, a, like craft fair festival type thing, are at, one's at a high school and the colors are red and blue. And then one is at um, in Oxford, which is where I had my uh, fall festival and Miami University there. And they are red and white. And um, so my designs just so happen to be red, which go with both of those demographic areas. So I'm hoping that's gonna go well. Oh yes, I forgot. Okay, you guys are gonna think I'm crazy and be like, well Brittany, why, why? Because I complained so much about these every time I had them out. And they are these, they're really nice bags. They're like canvas bags. They have a pocket in them. And the straps are, they're just like, they're nice. And they're really heavy duty but they're on sale on this <laughs> shop. Like they're a really good deal. But the problem is they do not transfer like really well. You have to spend a lot of time and a lot of heat on them. Um, and then once it's on, it's on. But getting small details on it is almost impossible. So like if you have a big print, like my ghost prints, perfectly fine, easy. Um, but I had some little designs that had like thin writing those will not work so and i knew that going into it this time so i made a print where it's a like solid so it's not gonna be a headache for me so i ordered 50 of them i think i had only ordered like 10 the last time and they all sold out at the show people loved these so i'm like i have to do it again i just need to make it better for myself and um do a design that is chunkier so yeah, that that's what this is. That's I think the rest in these boxes. Oh no, just kidding. More Cumber Color T-shirts. More of my mysterious chocolate sweatshirts. I like the color brown. I just don't remember ordering it. More of my charcoal ones. Oh. Oh. Okay, I do remember this one. I ordered another color for another pump cover um, because I have two. I have a, I have a pump cover for actual like gym, like a gym type design, and then I have one for um, a non gym related, just like t-shirt. I'm gonna call it a pump cover, but it's not a pump cover. Um, but this is a really pretty color. I think it's silver is what Comfort Colors calls it. I have a shirt already that is in this color and I really liked it because it's just like kind of a blue toned gray. Yeah. So we got that. And then the very last thing are more bags. So if you can't tell, we're gonna be very busy the next couple of weeks. Miami is first, or Oxford I mean. And I'm gonna hopefully try to sell off the last of those Oxford t-shirts that I made for the fall festival. Um, since it's in Oxford, but regardless, like I'll keep going back there. So I'm not gonna like stress about selling those. Um, but we have all these designs to do. I'm really like most not looking forward to the embroidery part, but if we can like make a goal to do two a day, then maybe it'll be manageable. So I'm gonna get off here because I need to organize this. I need to look it all over and excuse me, I need to, um, shower and a bunch of other things so i'll see you tomorrow for probably embroidering 
I have some DTF prints coming in too tomorrow, I think. Yeah, tomorrow. So cutting, lots of cutting tomorrow. And then maybe Friday we'll actually do heat pressing, which is so much easier and makes my life happier. More happy than ever. <laughs> All right, see you soon. Goodbye. It's a new day. We have a lot of cutting to do. So I think I should have half an hour left until Asher wakes up, which means I can get some ASMR type cutting video footage in. And then I have um, a couple boxes that just showed up that have more cutting materials and some clothing. So let's go ahead and get cutting. And then once he wakes up, I'll go ahead and unbox some of the new things. And my space heater just crashed on me. It broke. We only have the one in Asher's room now. So hopefully, I think Randy's going to stop after work and grab one because it is cold. Our house has not the best uh, insulation. So I'm cold. I might turn, <laughs> I might turn on my uh, heat press just to get some warmth. <laughs> yeah, and I obviously do some work too. I just don't think I'm going to have time, but we'll see. Um, the less talking though, the more stuff I get done. So I'm going to put you up on the tripod and set you to cutting noises and probably a mix of music. If you can't tell, he is up. Him and Max are both on my packages. I'm gonna roll them over and we're gonna open them. I need this pathetic kitty. Yep. 